So I've been recently dipping my toes in the world of Linux. Uh, I've installed Linux Mint on an old HP laptop recently, and I've also tried Pop! OS on a old Dell Optiplex. And between those two, I think I like Pop! OS slightly more right now. Uh, but today I'm going to try a different version of Linux. I'm going to try Ubuntu. Uh, I'm going to be installing it on this HP ProDesk 600G1. Uh, that I have. It's got a Xeon processor. It's got the E3 1241v3, which has four cores and eight threads. Uh, it's got eight gigs of RAM, and I have a GPU in here. It has an RX 550. So I'm going to need to download the ISO file and then flash it to a USB drive to get started. So here I am on Ubuntu's website. Um, here's Ubuntu desktop. So I'm going to click there and there's this download Ubuntu desktop. I'm going to click that. It's got some instructions here, system requirements for the PC and instructions on how to install it. All right. I'm going to just click download right here. 24.04 is the latest version. And there you see it's downloading. So I'll just speed this up a little bit. Now that the ISO is downloaded, I'm just going to flash it to a USB flash drive that I've plugged into my PC. For this, I use Belena Etcher. You see here I have the ISO selected and the USB flash drive as well. Now all I have to do is click flash. And now I'm just going to speed up this process right here. And now we see that the flash has been completed. Now what I can do is remove the USB flash drive that's in my current PC, my main PC, and insert it into the HP PC that I will attempt to install Ubuntu on. So before I try the install, here are the specs again for this PC. We have a Xeon E3 1241v3. Uh, I have 8 gigs of RAM here, and this also has an RX 550. Okay, I have the USB drive inserted. Uh, I restarted the PC, and it looks like it recognized uh, the drive. So here I will click Try or Install Ubuntu here. Okay, it looks like it is working. So I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward this a little bit. Okay, so far so good. Looks like we're on the desktop. It still has some stuff to do here, so we'll let it do its thing. Okay, so now all I need to do is just follow the prompts. First one here is choose your language. I'll skip the accessibility settings here. Just hit next. Keyboard layout, English, US. All right, I don't have internet set up, so I'm going to plug in my ethernet cable. And here it says an update is available for the installer. So I'm going to update that right now. Okay, at this point, it's saying close the installer, which I clicked. And now it looks like I have to click on install Ubuntu again on the bottom right. It's really my only option here. All right, and now as you can see, I'm getting you know some of the same prompts again. I just fast forward that a little bit, um, and now here it says, "How would you like to install Ubuntu?" So I'm gonna click, hmm, 
I'm going to click Interactive Installation. And next step, what apps would I like to install? To start with, I'm going to click um, Extended Selection. I will click these options for recommended software. I'm going to erase the disk and install Ubuntu. So I'll just click next here. And next step is to create an account. So I'll go ahead and do that. All right, uh, my time zone, just hit next here and review my choices. Everything looks good. I'm gonna click install here. All right, so uh, I'm gonna let it do its thing now. And I'm just gonna fast forward through this part. Okay, so at this part, I just want to explain that everything was looking good. Um, you know, it looks like the installation process was going fine. Uh, but then all of a sudden, uh, it just basically stopped. And I got the desktop again. And you see, see on the bottom right, it still says install Ubuntu. So obviously something, you know, something went wrong. So now at this point, I just go ahead and try the installation again. All right, so I click Install Ubuntu again. It kind of takes me through the same process. Uh, I'll fast forward this a little bit, but then uh, as it's trying to install it again, basically the same thing happens. And you see here, my name is already pre-filled. I put in the password that I just created. And then before I can even click Next, it goes right back to the desktop but still on the bottom right, again, it says install Ubuntu. So, you know, I'm not sure what's going on at this point. Again, I'm not a Linux expert. I'm a beginner of just trying to learn myself. So, uh, so I try it for a third time. Okay, so I'm just, you know, uh, fast forwarding my third time trying it here. But uh, third time is a charm. As you can see at the end of the third time, it has asked me to restart and the, um, you know, it looks like I am basically good to go. So I'm not really sure what happened those other two times. If uh, anyone can comment below and you know let me know their thoughts, I'm really not sure what happened at all. All right, I'll just fast forward this part again, and uh, you know, happy to say that after all that, uh, I was able to get Ubuntu up and running, installed on the SSD on this HP computer. So now I'm going to go ahead and, you know, just take a little uh, look around Ubuntu and, you know, see how easy it is to use or not easy. We'll see. All right, so I'm just going to take a look at the apps here on the top left and just go from top to bottom real quick. Okay, this bar on the top allows you to switch between different workspaces, which is nice. You have Firefox, uh, Thunderbird Mail. Uh, there's a file folder here, um, something called Rhythmbox, which I'm assuming is a uh, MP3 player, LibreOffice, uh, an App Store. So yeah, you know, pretty similar to you know Pop OS and what I saw in Linux Mint. All right, now I'm going to start up Firefox here. Really shouldn't have any issues with this. And maybe I want to head over to Amazon and, you know, do some shopping. And, you know, maybe I'll look for some computers. Yeah, so, you know, browsing the web isn't a problem. Heading over to YouTube, going to watch a few videos. No issues here at all either.
And everything looks good, just a few drop frames here. And if I want to create some documents, I could use LibreOffice here. Hello. And just like Pop! OS and Linux Mint, uh, you know, Ubuntu has its own little app store here, which is really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and install Steam. And in a little bit, I'll try playing a game. And under settings, you could do a whole bunch of different things. I'm going to go ahead and change the background here. Uh, hmm, I think I'll pick this mountain. Yeah, I like that. And in File Explorer, Ubuntu easily detected my WD MyCloud, so it's able to watch movies and open any file I have on it. All right, so I opened up Steam, started up Dirt 4, and, you know, really no issues here. Uh, I'm not sure what my FPS is, but, you know, it's definitely playable. And I'm sorry, but I don't know why, but my screen capture device did not... Uh, I don't know if I didn't have the audio set to, uh, you know, to capture the audio on the game. But uh, as you can see, it works pretty good here. Now, I do wish there was an easy way to run Fortnite in Linux. But from what I've uh, quickly looked up and read about, uh, it looks like it's not possible. If there's a way, please comment, uh, you know, below and let me know. So just to wrap this up. So far, I've tried three flavors of Linux on three different machines. Setup process was fairly easy. Uh, I'm not sure why it took three times to get Ubuntu to install, though. Um, but Linux, you know, it's definitely an awesome way to repurpose an older machine, uh, especially with Windows 10 end of life happening soon. I did hear that some company will be offering security patches for Windows 10, but for a price. Um, so my next step at Linux, it will probably be Zorin, but I am open to other ideas since I know there are so many versions of Linux. If you have a better idea than Zorin, let me know in the comments below. So that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you made it through this far, please go and hit that like and subscribe button. I would appreciate it. Thanks for watching.